Does completing a clinical attachment in the UK really lead to an NHS job offer? This is one of the most debated topics amongst the IMG community. And today I'm going to be looking at three pieces of hard evidence that will help me determine whether or not a clinical attachment is any good in securing an NHS job. So first up, RCP Psych published an article where they highlighted the benefits of completing a clinical attachment. In the article, they mentioned that clinical attachments are a way that trusts are able to identify doctors that may be looking to take a post in the trust in the future. They went on to say that an attachment is a way that IMGs can obtain a reference from a UK-based consultant, which puts them in good stead in a competitive market. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, it seems like RCP Psych is heavily implying that a clinical attachment can potentially increase your odds of obtaining an NHS job. Second up, Ashford's and St. Peter's Hospital's NHS trusts have a six-week clinical attachment program at the end of which you take an OSCE and if you're deemed suitable, they will offer you a two-year fixed-term contract. And finally, if you look at the training applications for various specialties, say radiology, you get six points on your application for having done a clinical observership in radiology. You get two points for having done a clinical observership in surgery. So you can see how doing a clinical attachment is actually beneficial when it comes to training applications as well. So I think there's enough evidence out there to conclude that doing a clinical attachment in the UK really does increase your chances of securing an NHS job. And the good news is the visa that you need to do a clinical attachment is the same as the one you needed for your FLAP 2. Watch me break down the visa application process step by step in this video. Seriously, what are you waiting for?